Hello, 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 Aquarius. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Want to come in today to give you your weekly reading. It's going to be timeless, you all, even though it's a weekly reading. So whenever you see it, hopefully the message will resonate. Take what you need and leave the rest with me. Thank you all for my subscribers, my new subscribers. I appreciate you all collectively and individually. I want to get started here. I have the Eight of Swords. Something you're coming out of, some kind of self-imposed prison that you put yourself in, but you're finally coming out of it. And with you coming out of it, you want to get some blessings. You want to get a new pathway because you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're stepping out of something uh, that you put yourself in here, Aquarius, or whatever. Maybe you put yourself in a time out, but that's okay. That time out is going to bring some blessed changes for you. You're leaving behind people. Uh, it's, uh, it's almost as if you, you are in charge of your destiny and you're letting go of people who no longer serve you and they don't like it very much, but you got a big smile on your face. You're leaving all that stuff behind. A bunch of narcissistic, negative people behind you, leaving them behind. It's judgment. You're you you you're tuning your own horn. You're letting it go, and with you letting this situation go, you're going to be blessed in so many different ways because you've been able to let go of so many things that no longer serve you. Normal, no no longer serve you. It's, I don't know where I'm getting normal from. It's not normal for you to step up for yourself until now. You've been been going over this over and toggling it over and over again in your mind. I got to make some changes. I got to make some changes with myself. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're changing things for yourself. Creation, you're creating new things in your life. Um, going on different um, ob self-observations about yourself. Self-reflecting. Creating new ways to think about yourself. New ways to think about people and situations. Maybe you want to create boundaries for yourself so people can leave you the hell alone. You know, they don't know what they're getting into now when they come messing with you. You know, probably said some hurtful things to you online. You've probably read some hurtful things on social media, probably a little bullying that people have been doing towards you and you're tired of it. It's time for you to walk away. Not that you should be a bully, but it's time for you to stand up for yourself. Completion. You're com this, we had a moon, a new, a, uh, a full moon last night. There's something changing for you. You're completing cycles, completing. This cycle is over with. The cycle of you letting people walk all over you, Aquarius, is over with. You're in a new cycle. Things are changing for you. You're, you're completing the old. You're, you're very compassionate. You're a very compassionate person. And that's why you don't say a lot of things. You don't stand up for yourself because you don't want to see people hurt. But people don't mind seeing you hurt. You know, they want to judge you. They want to talk about you. They want to say negative things about you. But you're, you're finally standing up for yourself. And with you standing up for yourself and taking that leap of faith to move forward, you're, you're experiencing new leaps and new bounds. But you're creating new things in your life. You're creating new opportunities. Because of the, the division you put in the middle of negativity, you're creating new boundaries, new um, respectful boundaries for yourself. And you're moving at this quite fast. All of this negativity that you've been going through, it's not going to happen for you anymore. Don't stay stuck on it, though. You have changes coming. A new world. No more negativity. No more heartbreak. Well, we're going to always have hurt, hurt and heartache and all of that stuff. But you're getting beyond this. You're moving forward. Because you are very, very compassionate, very loving, very caring. <clears throat> Something also about charismatic. Okay, people like your strength. You didn't gave up this fight, and people find that quite sexy. Very, very sexy. Okay, male or female. You're moving really, really fast at getting out of the negativity, this vibe of one's energy. And even though you're taking a leap of faith and you're moving forward, God is blessing you to move forward to experience new things. Don't stay stuck. Don't keep looking back at it. I did this. I did that. They treated me like this. They treated me like that. It's time for you to let it go. Once you let that go, once you leave that negativity behind, once you go and lock and close that door, lock it. Don't go back. Let it go. Don't focus on it. Why focus on hurt and pain when you have the world changing right before your eyes? Because you have the instinct to move forward, to move on. You may be feeling alone. You may be the lone wolf, but that's okay. You're the head of your pride. You may be the lone wolf, but you're the head of your pride. Okay? And I know wolf go follows wolf or in packs, but I'm talking about your instinct here is the wolf. But your spirit animal for this reading is the lion. I don't know where I got that from. But you follow your pride. You're a very, very proudful person. Okay? 
take how it resonates with you. Very, very proud of who you are. You should be very, very proud of who you are because you're coming out of some, some negative people, some negative situations. And this was in reverse. You may be, it may have been effortless. Okay, for you, it may not have been because it was in reverse, but this should have been effortless. But you were sitting in this so long that it became hard for you to get out of. It wasn't comfortable. It wasn't a comfortable situation, but you found yourself moving away from it. Okay, and you're looking back. I just said, don't look back at all the negativity what you've been through. Don't look back. You have the whole world ahead of you. Okay, you're headed toward another situation, a beautiful situation for you. Uh, this is a blessed situation for you. This is what you've been praying for. Okay, you may have to leave a situation and you may have to focus on your income a little bit, but that's okay. Your income is going to get better also with this situation. You may have help coming in if you already have help, maybe things are going to get better. You, it's just, you just have a lot of blessings for you. A lot of good things are coming for you because you cut out a lot of the bad things that was, were not so good for you. So you've spoken up for yourself. You've taken the lead and you've moved on with your life. And that's okay because you have a lot of good things ahead of you. And I said spirit animal. So I want to find this lion card here for who this reading resonates with. But you are going into a higher form of a commitment. A new situation, maybe a new job, maybe some new friends, getting rid of some old friends that have been around you for years, you all, uh, finding someone different, taking how it resonates, uh, new, just hanging around new wholesome people, not wanting to be in a negative situation, okay? So I'm just looking for the lion, since I, I thought about that lion for you here. Lion for the Aquarius. Show me the lion card for. Okay, I have it. I have two, but I definitely want to have the lion card, which is a higher calling for you, Aquarius. The lion. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. You will find success and com commitment with contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. And this is exactly what you are doing because you were assertive enough to let leave a toxic, negative situation behind. And this here is a cougar. Assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. And you are, and you have someone with you. You have a mate or someone, a friend or somebody who's there with you every step of the way. Take it how it resonates. You're not in this alone, Aquarius, but not by a long shot. Harmony. Whatever you're going through, you're not going through it alone. You have some help. You're not going through this alone. You have some help, whether you realize it or not, whether you're uncomfortable with the situation or whatever. You have help. The leader of your pack, even though you have the instinct of the wolf, you're still the leader of your pack. Take it how it resonates with you. This is you. You're powerful. Very, very powerful. Very, very assertive. Loving, caring. And you have a loving and caring person by your side. So you're not in this by yourself. You're in it to win it as a team. And you all harmonize with each other very, very well. Very well. You have a beautiful reading here. You're shape-shifting, moving forward to better things here. And, and your sun is shining You're because you're happy. You will be happy when you leave a negative situation behind. The clouds are going to are going to disappear. You're going to see the sun. You're going to feel the sun on your skin. And that's going to make you even happier. Okay? I hope this resonates with you, Aquarius. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you find peace in this situation because you have a new path coming for you. New path probably to a higher form of a commitment, a new job. But this new path also is leading you away from a bunch of negative people in your life. Friends, family, co-workers, or whatever. Your life is getting ready to change. The lovers. So you either have a relationship coming, a renewed relationship, or somebody's going to get on their knees and ask you to marry them for the holidays. Okay, will you marry me? 
Hmm. Take it how it resonates. Okay? I'll see you all again soon. You have a great day.